Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What's up, guys? So I told you before that I had something coming from Houston Superbike Racing dot com down in Houston, Texas, and that arrived today in the mail. So I'm going to show you guys that. Very, very excited. I think you guys will actually appreciate it and think it's damn cool as well. So here it is. Nice big box. Houston Superbike Racing. Pretty dope. Priority mail. So uh, let's open this up. All right. Ooh. Very excited about this. Very excited. That over here. Now, hopefully, it's the right parts. Ooh, nice and bubble wrapped very nicely. Much appreciated. I'll show you guys what these are. You guys probably already know by the uh, title of the video, anyway. But, damn, these guys really wrapped this bitch up. Much appreciated, but. You guys know how I like my carbon fiber. There we go. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is the carbon fiber intake covers. Um, and they're actually the same weave as the OAM carbon fiber. I'll come show you guys a look. That was the main thing, just because of where it is. You guys can tell with my tank sliders that this isn't the same carbon fiber OEM weave, like this. You can see this matches that, this matches that. So needless to say, it's gonna match, all the carbon fiber is gonna match, minus the tank sliders, but I don't care about those. It is what it is and they should look pretty good. So basically I'll show where these guys go. So these here actually go right here. So it's gonna replace all of this here and where it comes around and wraps around the front here. It's gonna be all in here. So all this is gonna be carbon fiber. So basically it'll fit in just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this. It is actually really easy, super, super easy to install. Get started on this and uh, it's really simple. So yeah, this isn't really a how-to because it literally is that simple. One, two, three, four. Pop it off the fairing and put uh, the full carbon piece. And this is real carbon fiber. Everything on my bike is real carbon fiber. Um, it does cost significantly more money over getting stuff that is carbon look, but is significantly lighter. Like this is actually lighter than the plastic. So, we are gonna get to it. Now some of these screws are kind of in an awkward spot, but, and I hate how uh, some bike manufacturers use like different size bolts all for the same shit. Like two different Allen heads. I don't know why they do that, but number two. All right, now I'll take, move this. And now we're gonna be attacking this bolt right here.
I just put the uh, all the bolts and screws in a safe spot, especially the Aprilia racing ones, because those are about five bucks a pop, Canadian of course. They're like four ninety six or something, and the reason these are four like four ninety six a pop is because they actually say Aprilia racing right on them. So that's why they're five bucks a pop. So I lied. You do have to take off uh, part of the fairing. Basically, just undo the fairing just so it comes loose like this. That way you have access to all that because there is actually one screw right there. I don't know if you can see that, but either way, exactly where my finger's touching. You can see where that yellow mark is. And then the other one is right here. So I have to do unto, undo both those screws and then this will pop right off. All right, so I got this piece taken off. A little bit of a pain in the ass, a little bit of a bitch. But nonetheless, still, still good. All right, so that was kind of a pain in the ass, but I finally got them installed. Now, the thing about when you're buying um, a lot of carbon fiber bodywork, they do, and the manufacturers always say this, no matter where you get it from, is it may need slight modification due to the weave and how the molds are done. Um, so I did have to do uh, a decent amount of modification. Some holes were just you know, slightly too small or just off, so I just had to, um, you know, fix them up a bit. Better than that, it fit pretty good. I got them uh, both on. Um, but do keep in mind, I will have the link in the description of where I bought these from. I did get them from HoustonSuperbikeRacing.com. Uh, they are real carbon fiber. Um, yeah, so you just have to keep in mind a lot of the times when you are buying carbon fiber bodywork that you do need to do. Um, sometimes, depending, and they're all different. So literally, you know, I could buy another set of these and they could fit slightly better, slightly worse. Just kind of have to, you know, uh, you know, drill out some holes a little bit bigger, etc. Not a, not really a big deal. Um, obviously, they don't fit as perfect as OEM plastics, but you're never going to get that perfect fitment. They do look awesome. I'm going to show you guys right now what they look like. So I do need to mod it a little bit... Uh, better just to get a bit better fitment just in here right but it's actually not too bad you can see there like that not too bad I know it's not the best of light I'm gonna turn it to auto there we go you can see the weave pattern there we go that's a lot better so there's the fitment so I just need to fix up there on the weekend it's actually not too too bad and then here, but you can see, uh, like I said, the weave pattern is pretty much the same as the OEM weave pattern you can see here. So it's very similar. It's not like, I didn't really care about the uh, tank sliders. Um, so it is a, a slightly different weave and it's a uh, gloss, but this is matte, matte, same weave pattern, matte, matte. But I think these actually look really good. And even back here, they fit just like stock. So some spots I had to mod a little bit more than others. And other spots fit absolutely perfect. So I think those look pretty good. Pretty good, I like how it, uh, kind of goes around a bit. I wish it was better lighting, but you guys can see this. Is, this is a decent camera that you should be able to get a good view. So that's it. Those are the carbon fiber intake covers from Houston, Houston Superbike Racing.com. Check them out. They got a whole bunch of uh, carbon fiber stuff uh, for the Aprilias, Ducatis, all that stuff. It uh, definitely, definitely happy with them. Of course, for the price that I did pay, I wish they fit a bit better. Um, but like I said, most of the carbon fiber pieces I'm looking at, they all say need slate modification, will not fit perfect, blah, blah, blah. 
um, it is a shame because you do but carbon fiber does cost a lot of money it's not cheap and uh, it sucks when you have to modify it a little bit but it is what it is you got to pay to play right so you guys have a good one take care and I don't know if I'm gonna get any more carbon fiber I really don't I don't want to I don't want to over overdo it but I do like those so peace